Well, thank you again for everybody for coming. Um, this is our fourth one, if, if anybody's keeping track. And mm -hmm. I think we have another one on the docket. Um, it, it's hard to sit up here and say, pick me. <laughs> right? It, it, it's a tough position to be in. Um, but I, I believe I'm the most, the most balanced candidate on the ballot. I've got 25 years of experience in banking, negotiations, coordinations, teamwork, facilitating networks of local community leaders. I've been involved in civic groups, community organizations for 20 years. I'm on the EDC board, Economic Development Commission, several subcommittees of those. I've been involved with the school district for 20 years. Part of me wants to be a substitute teacher. I think it'd be fun. Um, and, and I love the community. There, there's no doubt Maureen does too. But right now, uh, I believe my experience, my, my experience makes me that balanced candidate. And I'm excited for the opportunity to, to talk with you if you have any questions, to earn your support if it hasn't been received already, uh, and really just to say thank you for the opportunity. An appointment to the school board is unique. It doesn't happen very often. And there are questions that come up. Why did he get picked? Sometimes I ask that question myself. Mm -hmm. But I feel confident in the reasons why I think they picked me to be on the school board. And I think that carries through up my resume, which hopefully resonates with you when you read through it. I love the community. I love the school. I've been involved with it since the day my kids went to kindergarten. Um, and it's exciting. It's an opportunity that, that I can use my assets to make our school district better for you. Thank you. I'll stand up for the last one. So thanks for being here and your engagement. One thing that does make Alexander is such a great place is the community involvement, um, the support within our schools, the businesses that do, the parents that are involved. And we want to see even more of that. So this is just wonderful having people engaged, even in a special election. You know, remembering this is the only thing on the ballot this coming November. So it's important for people to come out and vote um, and be involved with that. As far as who to vote for, um, I think it's important that you know you have a candidate, a school board member, who that you can see what they believe in, um, that they support, that you agree with what they believe in, what they stand for, um, and that you can trust what they'll be doing as a school on our school board. And I really think thriving in mutual trust within our community is foundational for our school board. And I know that there have been concerns in recent decisions with related to our school board, but ongoing, and I just want to let you know that I do hold myself um, to integrity, to honesty, to be collaborative. I'm a good listener, even if you disagree with me. Um, I was, had a booth at the Sausage Fest recently, a woman who was very upset in the, our differing opinions. And at the same time, she came back the following day and apologized and said, I didn't give you a chance to, um, to, to really share who you are and to listen. And we had the, a really wonderful conversation. I was so amazed and I just honor her for that um, because it was a great example of willing to engage in conversation, even if we don't come to the best solution. And that's what our school board does, is collaborate together. So I think between the fact that I have a vested interest in our community, I have young kids who are engaged going on, I do have um, experience in finance, currently working and engaged in our community, um, great involvement within many organizations around town from Connected Over Years or my families that live in town. And I think it's important that we can love and care for our kids in the best way. And so I'd appreciate your vote for the school board. And I want to let you know that also tomorrow I'm planning to be at Dunn Brothers Coffee from 9 to 11 a.m. So if you'd like to come meet me and say hi, um, you're welcome to come and ask me questions or engage in that way. So thanks for your time for being here tonight. That's going to